The other famous classical story of monster slaying is that of Theseus and the Minotaur. And in this case, the awesome beast has none of the common features and characteristics of the dragon, except its ferocity and hideousness. The Minotaur, though a fearful monster, which fed on human flesh, had nothing of the appearance of the dragon or of the more familiar serpent about it. It was a creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull, and very monstrous in size. Its haunt was a distracting labyrinth from the winding and entangling paths of which no man was allowed to escape, the monster killing and devouring every human being who dared to penetrate that doleful gulf. To this place, in the course of his adventures, came Theseus, prince of Athens, having with him the seven youths and seven maidens, yearly tribute of Athens to Minos, king of Crete, demanding to be the first of them thrown to the beast. And when the Minotaur rushed upon the daring champion with the teeth and roar of a lion, Theseus deftly caught him by the horns, forced his head back and plunged through his throat the enchanted sword given him by Ariadne, daughter of Minos, who loved him, and with whom he afterwards safely escaped, as well as opening all the prisons and setting free the seven youths and seven maidens kept in captivity there. For in this strange and perilous adventure there was more than hard fighting to be done. There was the problem of ever getting out of that bewildering labyrinth again, if life remained, so that the hero of this tale had not only to confront the monster, he had to contrive a plan for the ultimate escape. This Theseus did very cleverly, knowing that unaided he could never hope to find his way out of that gloomy maze. So he had taken with him a ball of twine, which he fastened to a stone at the entrance, unrolling it as he proceeded through the winding paths and galleries of that sunless glen, never losing his confidence among the most wagged walks or at the sharpest turnings and twistings. It was just when the whole of the twine was unrolled that he came suddenly upon the terrible monster in the very heart of the maze. By this precautionary and cunning plan was his escape after victory effected, and all ended happily.